Hey lovelies, I'm back with another video. I'm going to be doing some finger coils on my friend's hair. Her hair is kind of like a 4B, 4C type and her texture is soft. So I'm not sure what porosity she has, but regardless, we're going to section out this first piece and we're going to get into these finger coils. So I sprayed her hair with some water before and I'm going to go ahead and apply my styling gel. I'm using wet lime. You do not have to use this gel you can use any gel you want or you can use a styling custard or a styling cream or a styling foam mousse so i decided to go ahead and try this x wet line on her and see how that goes it honestly created a lot of like white crust in her hair but it could have been her hair wasn't mixing with the product that she already originally came to me with, the leave-in conditioner that she had in her hair. So it could have been that. Regardless, we made it work at the end. So I'm going to show you again. I'm sectioning off this piece of hair. I'm going to spray it with some water. I'm going to add my gel and I'm going to finger coil it. You can also spray the whole section of hair with water, add your gel to the whole section, comb it through, detangle it through, and then separate into little pieces and finger coil those. That can like speed up the process, make it easier for you. If not, you can do it however you want. So I coil the hair around my finger only once because I don't want to do it multiple times. Doing it once, it gives you a nice fluffy spiral curl and it's easier to separate when you want to go ahead and separate it. Another thing is you do not have to section off as small of pieces as I'm sectioning off right now. You can section off big pieces, medium pieces, even smaller pieces than this. Do what works best for you. If you section off big pieces, you may want to separate them once it dries. So the decision is really up to you. Anyways, the style is super simple, super easy to do, and it gives you just awesome, beautiful results towards the end. So I don't really have much more to say. Everything is really self-explanatory. Right here, I'm showing you what I said before. I'm gonna spray that whole section with water, I'm making sure all the strands are damp. And then I'm gonna go ahead and apply my styling gel to the whole section, which is the extreme wet line. And then I'm gonna take little pieces from this big section and start to separate them and finger coil them one by one. We're gonna let this fully dry now. It's important to let it fully dry. I sat her under the dryer, but you can air dry. And now I'm gonna lift up the coil and see where it naturally separates. I already have oil on my hands and fingertips. You could use whatever oil you want. I decided to use argan oil. And I'm gonna begin to separate and coil the hair in the direction that that coil goes. That way the curl or the coil does not look weird. It's not like rolling back on itself. It's falling nicely and neat as you see here. I want you to also pay attention how I kind of like swiveled that coil in my hand. And the reason why I did that is because I'm trying to break up that white 
crust that decided to form on the hair that cast that white cast that formed on the hair i'm trying to break that up with the oil that's on my hands so we could get that away and have some nice shiny coils instead of like white crusty coils So now I'm all done and here is the finished results. We didn't do much styling or fluffing or any of that because we just wanted it to be first day hair and then let it grow naturally. She was going to fluff when she wants only so I didn't do much after I kind of like separated but this is the finished results on day one and i think it looks so cute and good her little coils all over the place they look like little spiral coils they're so cute i wish i was able to get like more of a zoomed up look so you can really see that they're like spiral little coils anyway i love the look on her and this is it i hope you guys like let me know until next time lovelies later